Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Barak Thug. Hey, bro, I'm sharing this with you, but really I'm trying to record it with my voice so I don't forget it. I just woke up from the dream and I want to put it, you know, I'm actually going to do a video on it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to send it to you, but I want to be on voice note so I don't forget what happened because I just woke up. So anyway, I'm with my cousin somewhere, right? My cousin and some more people. I can't remember, like, family. It was just family. All guys. So we had a function, some type of place we went to. You know, like you outside one minute and the next minute you come into a place where you're underneath underneath something, I don't know, like a garage or something where the sun can't get through, right? So I'm talking to a girl, lady, something, and then all of a sudden my cousin texts me and said, this is big. I take my phone out and I click on it and it's a bunch of vampires. The, and, it's, and it's exactly where we are. It's a bunch of vampires. So I start getting an idea. What the fuck is this? Next thing I know, I look up and all these different individuals are running at me. But then some kind of like they disappear. You know how vampires do that thing where they disappear. And like they dematerialize. And like you, you know they're there, but you can't see them. They start doing shit like that. Running at me, you know. So then I don't know. Some type of way it's just like they start running at me. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, yeah, vampires are afraid of the sun. So, you know, we're not inside, we're outside, but I'm underneath a place where there's no sun. So every time a vampire run at me, they do that shit where they kind of shape shift into like thin air. You know, they moving real fast and they just kind of running at me, but they, they dematerializing so that their bodies are not solid. So when they, when they, when they, I'm, I'm just jumping back and every time one run at me, in my mind, my mind said, just call on the name of the Lord. Like that, right? Vampires are running at me. I jump back and say, you howl by Hashem, you howl shot. And every time I do it, they will miss me. They will run at me just from, coming from different directions. One will run at me, I say, you howl by Hashem, you howl shot. And I jump and I, I move out of the way. I'm trying to jump so I can get to the sun. And then it's getting to the point where the sun is going down. You know, it's like kind of, you know, it's shadowy, but it's still the sun is still up. And this went on for a few minutes. I'm just they're coming at me, jumping at me, and I'm saying, yeah, how about shoot me how shot? I'm jumping back. I kept dodging. Every time one running me, I, and I kept saying the name every time. And sometimes I would mess up on the name. I'd say, yeah, how about shoot me how was shot? I get tongue tied, but they still was missing me though. So then I finally got to the point where I was like I was in the sun, but then the sun, I guess the sun started going down. So at first it didn't seem like I was running that fast, because you know vampires, they fast too. They got, you know, speed too. So I'm running. And at first they're keeping up with me. And I kept saying, yeah, how about shoot me how shot? Then all of a sudden I started like really moving fast. And like they, I couldn't see no vampire. I mean, they, I knew they was, they was there, but I was starting to leave them. So then they were doing a little tricky shit where they were like making, making shit appear in, in front of me, like walls. You know, you can see the wall. You know how they show a wall or something being built. And it's like sped up and it's built really fast. Shit like that start happening. Start doing shit putting shit in front of me. And every time they would put shit in front of me, it would be high and I say, yeah, how about you? How shot I just leap over that shit? And I was running real fast. They say, yeah, how about or um I would say that. Then I look and see another fence. Uh, it was just real high fence like it had spikes on it or something. And I said, yeah, how about you? How shot? And I just jumped right over that shit and kept running. It was like no matter what they did, what they put in my way, I was just jumping over the shit. I was just getting by it. I was getting through it. And it was it was quick, you know? And as soon as I woke up I said even when I was dreaming it, I thought to myself, I gotta make a video about this. I mean, it was crazy, bro. I mean, I, I probably ain't described it that good, but that shit was crazy. I'm gonna have to do a quick video on it. That, you know, once I get myself together, I'm gonna do a video on it. But yo, bro, that shit was crazy. It was like, for one minute, shit was all good. It was seemed like I was there. I was like talking to a chick or something. Then all of a sudden it was like, that whole shit just changed into some shit. And I remember getting that text on my phone and my cousin said, you know, I looked at the text. You know how you have a, a, a image on your phone? And in the image, it had words. And the words said, this is big, like that. You know, I'm thinking, like, okay, well, you know, what's up? And I go to click on this shit. Then it just said vampires in the image. And it was exactly where we was. Then as soon as I put my, look, looked up, all these different eyes, strange motherfuckers is like running at me. But then it started dematerializing, you know? 
And I just kept dodging them. Every time I said, yeah, how about you, how shot? And I'd just jump out of the way. Because, you know, these, these motherfuckers moving at the speed of light. I mean, it was moving really fast. But, man, that was awesome, though. I just had to, I had to record it in order that I wouldn't lose it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can't. I had another dream last week, and I couldn't remember it. It was, it was, it was, it was a dope ass dream, and I said to myself, "I'm gonna remember," it, and I didn't remember. It. I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing about it. This time, I said, "Man, let me, let me record this thing so I don't forget." You know, so if I listen back to it, I'll be able to, you know. I may wind up using this. I may just wind up using this for the video. I don't know. Let's see what the spirit do. But I was. It encourages, cause women, you know, how you have a weird ass dream. Women, you dreamed of something, ain't got nothing to do about nothing, and then it just ran into something else. It blended into another dream. I'm sitting there trying to talk to this chick, and then all of a sudden I look up, get this crazy text. It was just weird, bro. I don't know. Was, but the, the exciting part was I was running fast, dodging vampires. I, mean, I remember real vividly this high ass wall just came up all of a sudden. And then I was like, in my mind, I was like, fuck this ball. <laughs> I was like, this shit ain't gonna stop me. Yeah, how about Shimmy How Shot? Shoot, just jump right over that shit. Hey, brother, Shalom. Nah, that's nah, you, nah, you described it. I was like, nah, you, you described it. I could actually picture you doing all that stuff while you was telling, while you was telling me. So yeah, 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 definitely, definitely put that on wax, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna go from, it's gonna go from, uh from peace and safety to a sudden destruction so yeah man yeah and calling on the name i was saying calling on the name bro for every I was say every time an obstacle got in your way you called on the name bro that's what we supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying and it's gonna work every time we believe that you know that's why we go hard like we go hard so yeah man yeah yeah definitely heavy man shalom all praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. And I want to do a quick video about a dream that I had. The video is going to be entitled Dream Dodging Vampires Leaping Walls. All right. So I'm just going to get right into it and then I'll read a few scriptures and that'll be it. So in the dream. <clears throat> I was uh, with a cousin of mine. I was with some family, I believe. A cousin, one cousin in particular, I remember. And then uh, we was, uh, basically, I was talking to a young woman, I believe. I don't remember exactly. I was talking to somebody. I think it was a lady. And then all of a sudden, I get a text on my phone. <clears throat> so when I look at the text on my phone, my cousin was the one to text me. And I look at the text. And you know how you have an image on your phone and there's words on it. And on the image... It said, this is big. So I'm like, oh man, let me let me see what this is. It was actual video. So when I clicked on the video, I see a bunch of vampires. And they're at the exact spot where we are. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, wait a minute, what? Then I look up and I see all these individuals, vampires, right? So then in my mind, you know, I'm, I'm just preparing myself. And then they started coming coming towards me. And I remember my mind saying, just call on the name of the Lord. So these vampires, would, one by one, would start trying to come at me. You know, that super speed that you see in movies, that vampires move like the speed of light, like they're super, super fast. And at the same time, they was dematerializing and like turning into mist almost. Like it was, everyone that would run at me, it was like they would, uh, uh, what's that word you? They would metamorphosize or, or dematerialize until like thin air. But I could see them. It was kind of like shadows. They would run at me. And every time one would run at me, I would say, how about Shimmy, how was shot? And I would dodge him and, and they would miss. This went on for minutes. They kept, they kept doing it. And I didn't, what I didn't mention, but we was outside, but where we was, it was like it was underneath, you know, like a, a shelter or something. So the sun wasn't coming in there. And I could tell by the way that it looked, it looked like it was in the afternoon. And then it started to look like it was almost where the sun was about to go down. And I remember thinking to myself, try to get into the light. So this went on for a few minutes. Every time a, a vampire would run at me and dematerialize, you know, then I would say, yeah, how about you? I was shy. And I would, I would, you know, dodge him. I was dodging him. Next thing I know, I kept on doing this and I was trying to maneuver myself to get to the sunlight because I thought that I would be safe. I, and then so I started running. When I got, when I maneuvered, I got to the point where I was almost in the sun. It seemed like the sun started to go down. 
So then I started running and they started chasing me. And I was saying, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know how fast vampires move. And every time I would say the name of the Lord, it was like, I don't know if I was picking up more speed or what, but I started noticing I didn't see any vampires. I was just running at you real fast. I would say, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And what I did mention too is when uh, I was dodging the vampires, sometimes I was trying to say the name of the Lord and I was, I was getting kind of tongue tied, but I was still, you know, like I would say, try to say the name. I kind of halfway say it and then I kind of, you know, correct myself and then say the full name. Needless to say, the vampires never got me. So when I'm running now, and they were running, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, like, they, can't, they ain't going to be able to catch me. So then I started saying the name of the Lord every time I'm running. And then I started noticing, looking beside me, I didn't see no vampires. But then they started doing tricky shit. Like, they would, you know, how you would see something, how they will show something on a movie, and then it will speed up in fast time, and you'll see, or it speed up into uh, fast forward. Like if something was being built, it would do it real fast. You know how they speed it up, like a time lapse. This is what I started seeing. I'm running and I'm seeing them vampires doing tricky shit, like making walls appear in front of me. So every time they would do that, I would say, yeah, how about shimmy, how about shot? While I was running, I just leap over the wall, keep on running. Then I see another one, I leap over the wall. And I remember seeing this real high wall where it looked like it was spikes or, you know, like poke, uh, pointy fits, pointy uh, wood on the top or whatever. And that just, it, it kept happening. And then when I saw this one, it was really tall. And I was like, yeah, how about shimmy, how shot? And just leapt over the wall and just kept running. And then I woke up, you know, then I woke up. So the dream, hey, <clears throat> call on the name of the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord. And right away when I woke up from the dream, the first, even in the dream while I was still dreaming it, my mind was like, you got to do a video about this. So what I did was I recorded it, voice recorded, and I sent it to one of the brothers. That way I wouldn't forget it. I would have it. You know what I mean? So you may hear that voice recording at the end of this. You'll hear the, you know, me tell that st <clears throat> the story all over again. But when I woke up, I praised the Lord. You know, of course, I said, you know, call her law, your about me, how was shot. So, you know, Lord willing, this helps a brother or sister out there. I know, hey, I know it helped me. <clears throat> so I'm going to read a few scriptures. And that'll be it. Because the times that we're coming in, we're going to need all the help we can get. And, and, you know, in the dream, it felt wonderful. I'm not even going to lie. It felt great. And I was confident the whole time. I never got afraid. It's, I mean, it went from one minute just enjoying, you know, something or talking. And then next thing I know, immediately trouble started. And I just went in defense mode. Call on the name of the Lord is the first thing that came into my mind. This is Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. As long as I call on the name of the Lord, no vampires got me. As long as I call on the name of the Lord, I was too fast for them. As long as I call on the name of the Lord, there was no obstacle they could put in my way. As long as you call on the name, name of the Lord, if it's your lot, you will be delivered. I want to read also <clears throat> 2 Samuel 22. I'll start at, I'm going to start at 27. This is what King David said, King David. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the fry, thou will show thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people thou will save. But thine eyes are upon the hearty that, that, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Yahweh, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for the Most High, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is the most high save Yahweh? And who is a rock save our God? Yahweh is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and sets me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Can't really get more plain than that. King David said the Lord gave him power and strength to fight with. He leaped over walls. I'm going to get the precept. Psalms 18, 29. For by thee, 
<clears throat> I have run through a troop. And by my God, have I leaped over a wall. Excuse me. Let's read that again. <clears throat> and the odd thing is, since I had that dream, I've been kind of waiting for the time when I could record it. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I get a little sinus thing going on and my throat is scratchy, you know, waiting to try to record this video. <clears throat> but it's all, it's all good. Psalms 1829, for by thee I have run through a troop and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for the most high, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. <clears throat> he is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is the most high, save the Lord, <clears throat> or who is a rock, save our God? For uh, it is the most high that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my, my hands to war <clears throat> so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. There you go. I got one or two more here. <clears throat> Let's get Luke 10 and 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Yeah, how about Shem Yahusha? I read it again. And the 70 returned again with joy, <clears throat> saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name, through the name of the Lord. And that name is essential for salvation, period. Right? He goes on. And he be, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven <clears throat> to my so-called white man's power structure. And behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The men are the, that are the elect, they're going to get this power. Right? Rejoice because your names are written in heaven because you're the, of the elect. More on King David. <clears throat> Let's get... 1 Samuel 17 in the account where he was uh, dealing with Goliath. And we'll get this quick. You know, I don't want to make this a long video. It doesn't need to be long. I just wanted to share that dream, you know. The great things that we got coming to us soon, Lord willing. Soon, Lord willing. This is 1 Samuel 17. <clears throat> Verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, which he had even in a script. And his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine and the Philistine came on and drew near unto David and, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. Now, this does not mean for you devils. And he was red. This is stupid. It doesn't make sense. No, he was useful. He was young and tender. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee. In the name of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. You can go and read the rest of it to find out what happened, as we know. <clears throat> then if we go to the Apocrypha, Ecclesiastes 47, verse 1. And after him rose up Nathan to prophesy in the time of David. As is the fat taken away from the peace offering, so was David chosen out of the children of Israel. He played with lions as with kids and with bears as with lambs. Slew he not a giant when he was yet but young? And did he not take away the reproach from his people when he lifted up his hand with the stone in the sling and beat down the boasting of Goliath? For he called upon the most high Lord and gave him strength in his right hand to slay that mighty warrior and set up the horn of his people. 
How did he call on the Lord? He called on his name. He called on the name of the Lord and he gave him power in his right hand to slay that mighty warrior. So Lord willing, this was edifying, all right? I'm going to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the hopefully late, all right?